Hey there everyone, Tayshi here back again with another video and do you guys read news? I know some of you does and some of you are not really updated about the situation which is going on. And this is something where we are at a position of something really, really bad to happen. And this is all happening in the tech industry. Now I personally believe that if there's going to be another world war, it's going to happen over the internet and about the dominancy of who is going to dominate the internet, who is going to dominate the majority of market, that's going to be the next war that's coming up. And uh, I think it has already started to show its impact. And that's what's happening at Huawei. First and foremost, for all those people who are not much updated about the Huawei situation, a couple of months ago, probably a year, a little bit months ago, there was a news in a variety of media articles that Chinese government is forcing Huawei to implement some kind of spying devices or spying chips into all of their devices. And all those people who still believe that Huawei just sells the phone, that's not the case. Huawei sells a ton of the things and most of them are in the fiber networks and fiber optics and mostly broadband kind of a stuff. So majority of the networking things actually do happen on the Huawei devices. Now, although there was an investigation happened onto the Huawei, a couple of people got arrested as well, but there was no rock solid proof the Chinese government is trying to spying through the Huawei device. Some of the reports says otherwise, some of the reports says otherwise, I'm no judge here, but that was the situation a couple of months ago. Now recently, this Huawei situation actually escalated. Recently, Donald Trump signed a very special letter which says that we are going to block the Huawei totally and entirely from the US market. Now Huawei is not a small brand. It makes billions and billions of annual revenue which impacts all of the people all around the globe. Now, as the impact of this current situation right now with the Huawei, the recent first step was taken by the Google because Google has to comply with the US government law and they have stated it openly that now all the Huawei devices which are upcoming, not the devices which are currently in the market, all the upcoming devices and all of that are going to lose the access of Android as well as all of the Google products including Google Maps, YouTube, Gmail and all these everything. So as a company whose major market share comes up from the phones, they're not going to be having Android in them. Now, on a side note, I would like to mention that all these people who are having Huawei devices, you don't need to worry because as of now, you will be getting all the license because it's not about that they can just chop down the license right now. They will be doing it in the future. But right now, all the devices that you are having are going to get updates, security feature. You'll be able to do everything as of now, not in the future. So definitely future devices are going to suffer. Now this whole story is not just about that one device got blocked or one company got blocked. This is way beyond that. This is right now a situation which is almost like, have you seen those cards, the decked up cards? You just pull it off one and all of them start tumbling up and it, it gets into bad situation. Now Huawei is a big brand, a big brand supported by Chinese government and this is directly an end-to-end -end war between United States of America as well as China and this is a bad situation because both when politics are involved everybody suffers in that and when the political war goes like that directly straight to state everybody is going to take advantage of their allies and are going to try to just attack onto another one. This has happened over the time in the past. If you study a little bit history, it has happened over and over again, and this is happening again. The US has taken the advantage of Google, which is a big tech giant, and has dropped the support for Huawei. Now, in, in terms of that, like first the tumble up of the card came up from the Broadcom as well. Things like Snap, Snapdragon, all these uh, Qualcomm chips and Snapdragon chips. They've also said that we are not going to be doing any business with Huawei. This is the first step of that tumbling up. Now, just tell me one thing. Do you think that China is going to sit and just going to watch? No, they are not. Obviously, they're going to take advantage of their ecosystem as well. They're going to maybe forcing somebody like Apple, who is having a big market share in China, or maybe some other company, maybe Microsoft. They're going to force them down that we are not going to allow you to do business here. Maybe Amazon, maybe any other company. So they're going to show their power as well. And not only that, they're going to involve their allies in that. That always happens in the politics. Now, I don't know if the Huawei situation about the spying was like too much in depth or not. But one thing is definitely for sure that everybody is trying to show up their power. On the one hand, we have got USA, another and in the China. Both are going to show up their power as much as they can. 
And we're going to be hearing a lot of news in the upcoming days about Huawei, Google, maybe Apple get involved, maybe Microsoft. So all the big tech giants are going to get involved in this one very, very soon. This is not a good thing. I really wish this can be stopped somehow by doing a treaty, maybe somehow or anyhow, just sign up a deal, sign up a treaty or anything. This is not going to be good for the tech future. I honestly and personally think that this definitely should be stopped because if this is not going to be stopped, this is going to be absolutely, absolutely horrible for everybody. Imagine the restriction that comes up that either you can use these products or completely go into this direction. Everybody is going to use their allies and this has never ever turned up into good situation. So I really wish that they just talk and behave like grown up and mature ones and they just try to sit down have a talk have a deal and just resolve what are the issues are so i really think for that and if in the future things escalate to really bad situation huawei is going to be the root cause of this entire situation that is happening right now so this can be something really really big for the future or we can just see that this dies up right here i really wish that this dies up here Otherwise, we can witness something really, really bad, terrible, and extremely something that I really don't want to have is going to happen in the near future. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this Huawei event. Is it going to just calm down like that or is it going to escalate? What do you think about it? That's it for this video. We are going to definitely catch up with more updates, more tech videos, more programming videos on this channel. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'm going to catch you up in the next video.